Well, this Cinco de Mayo, let's get authentic and cook up some traditional cuisine with a modern twist. Chef Mia Castro, who has appeared on Food Network's Chopped and Beat Bobby Flay, is on with us this morning to demonstrate some easy to make Cinco de Mayo recipes. Hello, Chef. Good morning. Good morning, Claudia. How are you? I'm doing well. You know, I'm one of those people that uh, there's so many things that I could make that are delicious and healthy, but I never do it. Can you talk to us about some of these easy to make recipes people can make at home? Of course. So I wanted to give you a different alternative to tacos and guac for Cinco de Mayo. Yes. And I wanted to feature a recipe that's native to Puebla in honor of the holiday. Uh, so I went with chalupas poblanas. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, yes, and my twist on it is I made a tomatillo salsa, but I added some fresh del monte avocados for some creaminess. I partnered with them this year to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Okay. And I topped them with some man's uh, packing company broccoli slaw that I tossed with a little bit of lime and onion for some zing and crunchiness. And then to wash it all down, I made a pink glow pineapple agua fresca, which is also del monte. And it's just delicious and refreshing and super nutritious. All the things that you just mentioned are absolutely delicious, especially that drink there to wash it all down. Yum. Okay, Chef, let's talk about pairings. Uh, this is another area where not just myself, but some other people may struggle with, but how can we swap things out for other things and kind of throw a twist on things? Well, you know, I like using avocados instead of cheese. It provides a more nutritious alternative and it also provides that creaminess. So that's a perfect swap. Yeah, well, anytime you've got the avocado, it's a good thing. <laughs> I just yes. love avocado with anything. Well, what do you, again, with what you have today, what is the simplest way to make things like the, the, the enchiladas that you have or some of like the, the broccoli coleslaw? What would you use that with? So instead of lettuce, which is what's usually on yes, the lettuce. Bus, yeah, I use the broccoli slaw, which is a combination of broccoli, carrots, um, cabbage. So it also gives you that sort of freshness, but it's a little crunchier. So a little more interesting to the palate to me. Yes, definitely. And those are chalupas, by the way. I should know that. <laughs> I totally said enchiladas. Well, how can we make something simple at home that everyone will rave about? Because I think that we're all worried about, oh my gosh, are they going to like this? Well, you know, the tomatillo salsa that I made, it's very easy to make. You can find the recipe on delmontefresh.com, veggiesmadeeasy.com, and on my Instagram at Chef Mia Castro. And you can use it for the chalupas. You can also use it as a dip for chips. Um, the pink glow pineapples, you can make a salsa with it, like a pineapple and corn or pineapple and tomato Yum. salsa also mm -hmm. as a dip or as a topping so there's you know the possibilities are endless yes they are and the chalupas look fabulous by the way and I'm going to throw one more question at you when it comes to produce how can we be prepared to make stuff with more produce here and, and just incorporate it into our everyday cooking well I think one one of the ways is uh knowing how to store it uh I think often mm. when people purchase produce they don't know how to store it so it goes bad and yes. some tips I have for the avocados is you know just keep them in a cool dry place at room temperature until they're ripe the way that you know they're ripe is by touching them they should have like a little bit of give but they should still be firm they shouldn't be mushy okay. and as soon as they ripen I like to put them in the fridge that stops the ripening process and they'll keep for another two to three days so for me it's about storage and and less waste so that you're actually using the produce instead of, you know, 
buying a bag of slaw and throwing yeah. it away because you didn't use it. And I have done that so many times. It's so bad. But that was a great tip with the avocados. My goodness. Well, Chef, thank you so much for being with us today. Great tips, especially if we are planning to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. This is one great way to do it. Chef Mia Castro, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Claudia. Absolutely. Okay. And if you are planning to cook at home for Cinco de Mayo, you can learn more about the chef or these recipes. You can visit chefmiacastro.com. We throw in another few websites on your screen so you can get those recipes.